so he's going to be a sneaky ninja guy. Which shouldn't be too difficult, considering he can fly. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the enemies in this on this map and from here on, they're not quite as retarded as the first map enemies. They can actually hit you now. So I might have to actually be a little bit more reserved with Pink Hat and her magic casting so I can actually keep people alive. New healing spell. Brain's dead. Just lets you bring an ally back to life. The, the catch is you can only use the spell once uh, per map by per, per person that has it, and I only have one person with it at the moment, so I can only revive one person that dies, assuming I have the 50 MP to do it. Okay, let's get rid of this last guy. Yeah, there we go, look. Um, it punches them back a square. Assuming they can go back into that square, at the very least. Okay, this guy, he can't do that again now because he's running out of MP. He can only use Fireball again. And that guy's almost down. Okay, bring her within shooting range of it. This should give her a lightning spark. So I think it only took two for Tingle to get it. So, don't know why she hasn't got it yet. But it must be taking longer for her, I don't know. I think 17. Not sure if he will actually be able to kill it, but obviously he can't attack from the front on the side. So he's just gonna defend. Okay, so much he gets hurt. Yeah, they can hit him pretty good now. When they actually hit at least. Okay, let's have the sneaky ninja guy go finish him off. Should be able to do it with a mystic strike. 17 HP, I think. See if you can do that. I have to waste another turn killing that now. So an arrow shot will do because this should get a lightning spark now. So okay, I'm not quite sure why she's not learning that, but whatever. Check these doors here now. No, doesn't open those doors then, so we can't get those six chests apparently yet. I imagine we'll be revisiting this map at some point, as wonderful as that is with its terrible textures. Let's give her a race dead ready, not that I'll be using it probably. Bring it back up full. Also, as of note, that unlike in Shining Force and other um, strategy RPGs, if your leader uh, unit dies in those, then you lose the battle automatically. In this, it doesn't. You can, it, uh, that he doesn't also end the battle if he dies. It's only if you uh, all of your guys die or you fail some objective or other. But I don't recall many with specific objectives. Apart from one that's really irritating that we'll see once we get to the first story branch. Assuming you pick that guy that one first, but we'll see it eventually anyway. Okay, this should take it down to about a third, a quarter-ish maybe. At any rate, it'll be in a range that it can be finished off by him either this turn or next. Hopefully this. Let's see. Yeah, no problem. Scoot all these guys along here now. Relatively simple from here to the end now. It's just the enemies at the corner and then the enemies up top and the two below. Uh, if you go into the treasure chest, which I'm going to get, because I don't remember what's in them, but it's usually stuff like bonus weapons and things, but now I say that it's bound to be something completely useless and trivial. But whatever. Sick of defending with this guy now, but whatever, I'm going to do it. Not having much luck dodging attacks at this point. get behind so I'm going to ignore him and lightning spark him and see if this can take him down. Oh, nifty. This I'm pretty sure this one only does 
Uh, whereas Fireball was in plus 40 and Lightning Spark was in plus 50, I'm pretty sure the Freeze is in plus 60 for a bit of extra uh, MP. But it does start to ramp up now because she can afford to cast it. Assuming she levels up at the end of this battle again, she'll be uh, much useful then. Much more useful then. Okay, let's have a run along here. Don't think she'll be in range of anything anyway. So we'll just move her relatively close and have a defend. If she'd had lightning shot, I'd have been able to hit it, but it might have been a bit of a risk because she'd have been in attack range of it, then could have probably taken the down one because she's level one and they're level three. Okay, it's moving in Jugayan. Just have him hang around out of the way. Oh yeah, we go. One actually missed for a change, which is quite nice. Can't be the same said for the second attack, but still. Just keep, gotta keep my eye on their health now. They both take about another hit each. Okay, turn out, making good, relatively good time. Okay, well, we'll put Freeze on her first, and we'll give that a test because it gives 5 experience in the attack magic class and the only place you can actually hit anything is stood right next to it so we'll have to hope this kills it we shouldn't have any problem doing that because it, it'll be ridiculously powerful compared to fireball and such it's only 9 more MP, it's only a little bit more yeah there we go, instant kill but I'm not going to do that again, I'll save her last 2 MP for healing which I'll probably end up spending on uh, RPG and Mercury because they're two of the strongest units of this, uh, so far, so we really don't want those to die yet. Okay, let's have him move behind. You can't use Mystic Strike, so we're going to have to just go with Strike, which is strength plus 4% and hope that he can actually kill it. Okay, I don't know how much health that had left, but that was quite lucky. But he's probably in risk of dying now, if the charge goes for him, so I'll try and punt it back a bit so that we can't get to him. So I'm pretty sure that those two should have the top covered. So I'll send uh, I'll send PPA up the top route as well, and I'll send RPG and Shinobi down to deal with the two charges and get the chests. Those are coming up anyway, so and that guy's coming down. Okay, so you can hit him anyway. Oh, yay! Great, missed. That would probably have killed him if it had hit, so that was really lucky. So now, we'll just have to be careful now. I'm not going to just freeze it to death, as tempting as that will be. I'll heal him first, because he's got the lowest HP. He's also got two enemies around him, so if two of them jumped him, he'd be down. So, come on, Ninja Antics from him. Not that he does any damage really, but... Okay, so... Smack this guy. Okay, one more attack there should finish him off. So let's see if a range strike will do it. No. Go with Mystic Strike instead. Power... Yeah, there we go. Power bonus came in. He's just got a new attack, which I think is the ground block. Yeah, which is useless anyway, and I won't be using it or even putting it on his skill set. So, just sort of lock him downwards. 